This video is about Chamber Symphony No. 1 by Arnold Schumburg. I explain the most important facts about the work and the composer. Arnold Schumburg, an Austrian composer, was a central figure in the development of modern music. His Chamber Symphony No. 1, Op. 9, composed in 1906, marks an important point in his musical career. This work was written for a chamber orchestra and demonstrates Schumburg's transition from the late Romantic tradition to a freer, more atonal compositional style. The chamber symphony breaks with traditional structures and is known for its dense structure and innovative harmonies. The Chamber Symphony No. 1 was composed at a time of great creative development for Schumburg. He was experimenting with new musical forms and techniques, which is evident in this work. The Chamber Symphony is written in one continuous movement, which is, however, divided into five connected parts. This structure allows for a continuous development of musical ideas and reflects Schumburg's interest in the further development of the symphonic form. The Chamber Symphony No. 1 consists of five parts that merge seamlessly into one another, slow introductory theme, fast scherzo, slow trio, further scherzo, and a concluding fast section. These parts are thematically linked and form a unified, through composed structure. Schumburg uses the form to develop a wide range of emotions and musical characters, introducing more complex rhythms and dissonances characteristic of his later works. In the Chamber Symphony No. 1, Schumburg uses an extended harmony that transcends the traditional boundaries of tonal music. He uses a free atonality that enables him to achieve more intense emotional expressions. The instrumentation for 15 solo instruments allows for a high degree of clarity and textual variety. Each instrument has a solo role at times, resulting in a very personal and expressive sound world. The Chamber Symphony No. 1 is written for a lineup of 15 solo instruments, flute, oboe, cor anglais, two clarinets, bass clarinet, two horns, two violins, viola, cello, and double bass. This instrumentation allows Schumburg to create transparent and detailed textures in which each instrument plays an important role in the overall structure of the work. The individual treatment of the instruments contributes to the intense expressiveness and colorfulness of the music. The Chamber Symphony No. 1 is a key work in Schumburg's development as a composer. It shows his path to atonality and his departure from conventional musical forms. The work is a milestone in 20th century music and influenced many other composers in their search for new forms of musical expression. It represents a turning point at which Schumburg left traditional harmony behind and laid the foundations for his later twelve tone compositions. After its premiere, the Chamber Symphony No. 1 met with mixed reactions. Some listeners and critics were overwhelmed by the complexity and innovative structure of the work. Over time, however, the piece has established itself as a central work of modern chamber music. Today it is regarded as a visionary work that it expands the possibilities of musical language and has had a profound influence on the development of modern music. The Chamber Symphony No. 1 offers important learning opportunities for music students and advanced pupils. Studying this work helps to deepen understanding of atonal music and the development of chamber music in the 20th century. Students can learn how musical themes are developed and transformed and how complex textures and harmonies work by analyzing this work. It is also an excellent example of the use of timbre and instrumentation in modern music. The performance of the Chamber Symphony No. 1 places high demands on the musicians. Each instrumentalist must demonstrate both soloistic and ensemble-oriented skills. The complex rhythms and atonal harmonies require precise ensemble playing and a deep musical understanding. At the same time, the work offers an excellent opportunity for ensembles to expand their musical range and present a challenging but rewarding piece.